Hey, welcome back. I have finished punching on Mars, so now we're going to go through setup and show you how to put everything in and out of the box. Uh, so we put the main board on top, place this, <coughs> as every rule book tells you, in the center of the table. Um, and notice the these notches that are on the board themselves. Those are where the additional boards are going to line up to. Put this face up. So you'll notice on the additional boards there's a little notch on the bottom. So they line up nicely with those. And notch on the bottom of this one lines up nicely over here, notches here and here. After the boards, we've got the cards, give one to each player. The rule books and the rule reference book. Can set aside the foam. Then we've got each player's player board. And then we have the insert here. Um, this fell off already. But that goes on top of the buildings. The buildings all fit into this one here. Um, kind of, there we go. So that piece that you punched out slides into here. And then place the buildings based off of the color, not based off of the resource. Because um, the point here is that in the game, um, these buildings generate cost this and generate this. Cost this, generates this, cost this, generates this, cost this, generates this, cost this, generates this. And so you can have those off to the side. Oh no! These also only fit in here with the notch forward. Uh, if you put the notch downward, they don't fit very well. Oh, these keep falling out entirely. So it's best to keep this on an angle this way so that they stay put. No! So evil. Now I believe they are the same on both sides. It's just that one side is a kind of a less indicator. We can set that aside. Each player's um, pieces are in their own little container. And all of the player colors starting tiles will also go in this container. And on the back, they have one for each, so there's four colors, and there's a starting tile, because that's gonna get placed um, during the start of the game. And then I've stuck the player-specific technology tile in there, and that's going to end up going on your board, right in the center. So your technology tile will end up here, except, you know, obviously matching your color. Each player is going to get those. Then in this board, this little insert here, we have all of the cards fit in here, the big ones and the square ones, and the smaller cards go in here. Each one of these is the currency types. Over here we've got the LSS, the life support system tiles, the um, orbit and land tiles, two spots for the bullseye looking tiles, and then separate these tiles by their backs. And so one is light blue and one is dark blue and keep them in separate ones. And all of the starting tiles have an S on the back of them. There should be five of them total. 
don't include the player color ones and put them in the spot marked here on the screen. And then all of the circle ones, they're very easy to sort so they all fit in here. All of the extra stuff kind of lives in here. So the bag of the jewels, the scientists that are gonna be there. These are not player color scientists. Um, and then as well as the um, extra meeple. So that's all of those components. So each person should have 12 of those colonists. So you did come with um, some extra. And then you all have a special marker to go on the tracks. Then when you're done the game, throw everything back into player specific coves. Put all the jewels back in the bag. Throw all that extra stuff in here. The game did come with some bags, so if you don't want it to go loose, you can just throw those things in the bags there. And they'll all still fit in that spot there. Put your cards back, separate your token tiles, and put them back. And that is packing on Mars. So we'll take these, put them back. Be careful. Once again, they're going to fall out on me. Let's put that tile in there. <clears throat> Throw these down there. Put this insert back down. Player boards. Then the piece of styrofoam to level out the player boards here. The big extra board, the small extra board, your player tiles and rule books. And then finally, the board. Leaves a little bit of space up there. So you can see under here, this fits right in there. And it is extremely flush with that extra board. And there we have it on Mars. Oh look, I put the box on upside down. I don't like it when I do that.